Police say they have identified a suspect after an online shooting threat caused panic at Terry High School. The threat started with an Instagram post that warned students not to come to class. Today, Hines County deputies and Terry police surrounded and searched the campus. School leaders locked students in their classrooms while parents rushed to the school. We had to go straight to the classrooms this morning. No bathroom, no breakfast, no nothing. Straight to homeroom, lock the doors. So seeing that a threat had been made to the school this morning, so, you know, you never know. Uh, you never know. Just, you know, just not taking any chance. Classes went on after the scene was cleared. Authorities have yet to release the name of the suspect. Now, this happened one day after another Internet threat forced an evacuation at Jackson Academy. Deputies and police locked that school down for two hours while bomb squad searched the building. Nothing was found at that school either. Back to a developing story we first brought to you live at 5. Jackson Public Schools confirmed they've confiscated a handgun from a boy today. The countdown is on to the $500 million Powerball jackpot. And tonight, 16 WPT's Burke case found hundreds of Mississippians crossing the border in Louisiana to buy tickets. The line at this place took about 45 minutes to get through to purchase a lottery ticket. We asked for a show of hands on who... He faces charges for felony taking of a vehicle and kidnapping. Today, officials held a statewide tornado drill. The drill took place at 9.15 this morning. This week is Tornado Preparedness Week. From now until May, Mississippi is more likely to have tornadoes and severe weather. November, December are also severe weather months. Now, remember, you can stay up to date with everything happening. Keep up with all the weather with downloading the 16 WPT weather app for your Android or your smartphone. And we've heard David talk about how dry it is out there. Hines County now under a burn ban. Several days of wildfires and no rain in the near future force leaders to issue that ban today. This means no outdoor burning in Hines County until at least March 10th. And tomorrow mailbox mugging two in custody accused of robbing a woman at her mailbox plus garbage truck getaway a massive manhunt for a prisoner who escaped in a garbage truck and daycare car crooks what police are doing now to try to solve the case well let's start tonight with the horses bulls and cowboys in downtown jackson 16 wbt's david harbin live at the opening night at the dixie national rodeo david I'm here to help kick off the 50th edition of the Mississippi uh, Dixie National Rodeo. Big night down here. Uh, big entertainment. We're going to talk all about the goings on coming up in a few minutes. All right, David, now to driveway terror tonight. Police say they've arrested a man and a woman accused of robbing a woman right in front of her house. 16 WPT's Ross Adams report they could be even tied to even more attacks. This was quite a bold crime. Take a look at the two suspects. Police are now trying to determine whether this duo also robbed an elderly woman. They caught him. That's and Brown is being held on a half million dollar bond. Police would not give McGinnis a bond because she's already out on bond for a similar crime, similar type crime in Covington County. Live in the newsroom, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News. All right, Ross, thank you. Police are on a massive manhunt tonight for an inmate they say escaped in a garbage truck. MVOC says Dexter Patrick escaped from the South Mississippi Correctional Institution in Greene County. Prison officials say he walked away from his work detail while picking up garbage. He was serving a 52-year sentence for several crimes, including auto theft. If you see him, call police. And detectives are sorting through surveillance video tonight after a rash of daycare car burglaries. Now, this week we told you about how thieves targeted moms as they dropped their kids off in Madison. All three women left their cars unlocked while they walked their kids into the building. That's when the crooks stole the purses out of their cars. And a school bus wreck in Yazoo County stopped traffic this morning. It happened on Highway 49 in Bentonia. MHP says an SUV slammed into the back of this school bus trying to avoid another car. Troopers say the bus driver stopped in the right lane trying to pick up kids, but the bus driver, the car driver that is, couldn't stop in time. Make sure early in the morning, uh, especially when children are, are at school hours, to please be aware that, that school buses are stopping on the highway and that you have to drive with due regard and be careful that because uh, you never know when you come over a hill, bus may be picking up children or discharging children. Thankfully, all the kids turned out to be fine. One adult had to be taken to the hospital. He has non-life-threatening injuries. New at 6, Rankin County school leaders could spend close to $10 million on a new Brandon High School football stadium. The school board recently discussed a plan to borrow money to replace their outdated football field with a new $9.7 million state-of-the-art facility. The huge price tag is dividing taxpayers. If there's sources of money, we need to build a field. 
If there's not sources of money to do both, we need to get the educational process taken care of first. Well, I mean, you know, a, a good football program is something that would bring people to the city, um, I think, and into the school. So um, I guess if that means raising taxes to bring more people and more, more revenue, then it might not be a bad thing. Well, the school board could move forward with the new stadium plans at their next meeting, which is later this month. Happening right now, 16 WAPT's Bird Case sharing what he remembers about covering Hurricane Katrina. He's sitting in on this panel discussion with UCM former Governor Haley Barber. Of course, this year marks 10 years since the deadly storm slammed into Mississippi, costing billions of dollars in damage. Experts say Katrina is still the most expensive disaster in U.S. history. This panel discussion going on at the East Center at JSU. Three people hit the lottery last night, and none were from Mississippi, and some actually want the game brought here. Now, we found hundreds of Mississippians in Louisiana playing the lotto. State lawmakers here cleared the way for the game, but failed to continue the process. Two veteran Hines County legislators favor it, but say it may not happen this session. It's dead. It didn't come out of committee. Is the lottery dead, dead, dead in this session? Well, nothing is dead, dead, dead until we sign or die, but I think it's really on life support. Now, it would take a two-thirds vote to suspend the rules to bring back the lottery, and some say it will not happen this session. Macomb police are hoping surveillance video can help catch two gas station robbers. Officers are looking for Devontae Edmond and Frederick Quinn, both from Gulfport. Video shows the two armed men standing right next to the clerk demanding money. The robbery happened at the Blue Sky store on Delaware Avenue in Macomb. Police are trying to identify a third suspect. If you know anything, please call Crime Stoppers. And JPD says they're searching for another shooting suspect. Someone shot a man in the stomach on Overstreet Avenue shortly after 9 last night. Police are still looking for clues on who pulled the trigger. The number for Crime Stoppers, 601-355-TIPS.